Hey Andre, you won't believe what I'm driving. Is it a uh, Cybertruck? No, but it's halfway to a Cybertruck. I've got the brand new Ford F-150. Get this, hybrid, but it's the Platinum. Do you know how much it costs? I have no idea. $71,000, Andre. What are you driving? Well, actually, it just so happens that I'm driving a brand new Ram 1500 E-Torque Hemi V8. Actually, which also costs 71000 Wait, dude, we both got the top-of-the-line trucks that make us, uh, well, basically competitors. I'm in the Longhorn, you're in the Platinum. Yeah, I would say uh, both luxurious trucks. All right, well, I think there's only one thing that we have to do, uh, and that is a full-on comparison. So uh, let's park these bad boys and uh, Let's get this video rolling, dude. All right, Mr. Smirnoff. Yep. How are we gonna figure out which of these two trucks is best if one has $71,000 in one's pocket to spend? Well, I have a great idea, I think, because I've designed a series of challenges and criteria, okay? Okay. So there's gonna be payload and towing numbers, right? Right. Uh, there's gonna be price, because we have to look at the exact value, okay? MPG, zero to 60 test. Uh, also sound check to see how quiet or loud they are inside. And also tech test, which is auto park. That's great, Andre, but it's a problem because you designed a series of even tests, which means they can potentially tie. Oh, okay. Well, how about we do also top three coolest features? Done. Let's go ahead. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today's video is made possible by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of unique classes for ambitious and creative people. You can learn new skills, explore your passions, and there are tons of different subjects. There's everything from business classes to art, photography, and design. For example, if you want to learn how to make YouTube videos like ours, check out YouTube Success with Marquez Brownlee. There you can learn the filming process from the camera to the screen and everything in between. The first thousand people to use the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. And after that, it's only around 10 bucks a month. I'm in the Ram 1500. I'm gonna try this truck first. I've just enabled the parking system. Ram calls it Active Park Sense. And I told it to do a perpendicular parking maneuver. I'm gonna start my timer right there. And it told me to shift to reverse, hands off. And right now I'm just using one foot on the brake pedal, basically watching my mirrors and going at a kind of a gentle speed. Okay, it says shift to drive. Once again, I'm not touching the steering wheel. So I'm almost in. And it's trying to straighten me out. Just a little bit more. It says check parking position. There we have it, one minute and 10 seconds. Actually, it's fairly straight and fairly quick. Okay guys, right now I'm in the F-150. I'm in drive and I'm enabling the active park assist system. And I'm gonna tell it I want a perpendicular park. Okay, it said it found it. So it's telling me now to shift into neutral and hold the park uh, button. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start the timer. And now, I've completely relinquished control. This is really strange. Uh, I'm not touching the brake, I'm not touching the gas, and I'm not steering. Okay, it's shifting me into drive. So this is a little bit, uh, it's a whole different game. And it's doing just the whole job for me. Tension. It wants to go forward, it's not happy. Now it wants to reverse. Finish! Stop! Okay, it's a little bit strange. One minute and four seconds. But 
I'm kind of sticking out a little bit. So the system was quick, but I personally like the RAM system better. Fuel efficiency is ever more important. And we did a little run on the way here. Check it out, 23.1 miles, 22.0 is the MPG readout from the truck. Andre, you're not gonna win this. I've got uh, a hybrid, the first actually hybrid Ford F-150 ever. And I'm getting, get this, 26 MPG. We did a total of, since I reset, 23.2 and I ran 4.5 in all electric. So uh, read them and weep, dude, read them and weep. Hey Andre, I'm gonna do a, a sound check, see how quiet this truck is. All right, let me uh, get up to speed and then we'll see how loud or not it is in here. All right, Andre, I got my number. Can you take a guess? Well, you have a new Ford, um, so I would say 64 decibels. Close, but no cigar. 60. 60 decibels. That's darn quiet. You will never believe my sound level. Is it less than 60? You betcha. Holy cow, what'd you get? I got 58 decibels. I think a, a mouse can whisper louder. Maybe not whisper, whisper but certainly fart. All right, Andre, now it's time when we figure out which of these trucks is more capable. I'm talking about hauling and towing. That's very easy. Let's hook up the trailers and load the hay and let's go. Absolutely not. Do you think people with uh, $71,000 trucks are actually hauling hay? Uh, sometimes. Yeah. We do it the way that rich people do and that is we check the computer and we look at the door jam sticker. Read them and weep, Andre. My payload is 1419, which means that I can haul 1,419 pounds worth of things, people, dogs, money, gold, whatever. Ooh, ouch. My payload is 1,007 pounds. It must be those RAM boxes and my tonneau cover that's subtracting some payload from me. Well, that's okay for uh, four people. Really, Andre, a thousand pounds is good for four people? What are those, garden gnomes? No, giant guys like me. All right, so uh, how much do these tow? Well, that's another issue. Um, I looked it up online. Yeah. Uh, the RAM is rated at 7,806 pounds. All right, and what about the Ford? 11,000. Whoa, dude, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Well, you have the rear end. Um, I, I have a 321 ratio, you have like a 373, so it's not fair. You know, you could equip the Ram with a 391 rear axle ratio and tow more. Maybe when I was 21 I had the rear end. Those days are long gone. <laughs> And here's the equipment and the price on the Ram 1500. It has a lot of options. Technology group, including heads-up display, about a thousand bucks. It's got advanced safety group. It's got a towing package. It's got an off-road package, 10th anniversary package, Longhorn level one equipment. And of course the engine with the e-torque, the V8. Total price, 71,440. And here's the total equipment and price on the F-150 Platinum. It also has a lot of different items including, of course, the hybrid engine right there. Uh, bed liner, max recline seats, those are all extras. Pro power on board, 7.2 kilowatt generator charger. And even after a discount, the price is a little bit higher, 71,540. All right, before we do the zero to 60, let's see what's under the hood. Yep, it's a 3.5 liter V6. Twin turbo, electrified, 430 horsepower, 570 pound foot of torque, 10 speed automatic. Andre, what's under your hood? Well, I do have a good old 5.7 liter Hemi V8 and an electric motor right here. Ouch, it's hot. But total power numbers are 395 horsepower and 410 pound feet of torque and an eight speed automatic. Right, Ford. Mile above sea level. I'd be impressed if it's anything below seven seconds. Are you doing all wheel drive or a two wheel drive? I put it in sport mode, it put me in 4 auto, so that's where I'm at. Well, I am impressed. I said anything under 
seven seconds and I got 6.77 which is pretty darn good let me do it the other way uh, and see uh, if we can replicate that time I bet you we can hey you've got more experience with these hybrids can you brake torque them or not yes you can but even in sport mode they sometimes shut down so it's really kind of finicky all right here I go Yeah, that was faster 6.15 6.15 pretty darn impressive Andre I've laid down the law 6.1 6.15 dude that ain't gonna be easy with this behemoth of a longhorn well no it's not gonna be easy because we're at the mile above sea level yes I know and I'm electrified and you're only e torquified <laughs> I think they, right. I think they make medicine for that now <laughs> okay <laughs> Serious. 8.52. Can I take a guess, Andre? Yeah, go ahead. Alright, I'm gonna say that was 7.9. Well, you're close, but I am at 8.5. Ouch! Ouch, dude! Alright, let me try again. Maybe I can improve it. No, I didn't hear your glorious I mean, <laughs> I heard a, a gentle burping sound <laughs> as you passed around the corner there. <laughs> a gentle, a gentle burping sound? That's not right. Okay, let's go. And action! Ah! Oh. No. All right, Andre. I, I gotta say, uh, I saw an eager gopher run ahead of you on that one. Yeah, I was trying to beat the gopher. the top three cool features of the Ford F-150 Hybrid. Number three, right here, check it out. It's actually also has a generator, which means you can power things like giant chainsaws, or if you're in Texas and it freezes, you can actually power your entire house. Well, maybe not your entire house, but certainly a giant chainsaw. Number two, this gear shift lever folds completely down, allowing you to take this and fold it forward so that you have an entire work surface here for things like eating a big old sandwich or using a big old table for a small computer. Number one. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on, you can do it. Oh yeah, look at that. Who needs a bed or a camper when you have a seat that folds completely flat, allowing you to do things like, well, take an extended nap or even sleep in your F-150. You guys, here are the top three cool features of the Ram 1500. Number three is, of course, a barn-style tailgate that also opens the traditional way. Number two are the RAM boxes. They're good for storage. You can put golf clubs in here. And I also have a charger in here. 400 watts, good enough to power maybe a small toaster. Wait, 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 golf clubs on there? What kind of a golf are you playing? Mini golf, maybe. And number one coolest feature has to be the back seat because it's reclinable. Check this out. Also heated and ventilated. And this is the brownest interior that's ever been fitted to a truck. Yeah, how many shades of brown are there, Andre? because they're all inside your Ram. There must be 50 shades. All right, Andre, so which truck is the winner? Okay, so by the numbers, payload and towing, Ford wins. Yep. Price, the Ram wins because it's $100 cheaper, okay? Then MPG, yeah, the Ford wins, okay? Uh, zero to 60, Ford wins. Uh, sound level interior, Ram was quieter, it okay. wins. 
and then parking test the Ford was a little quicker but it just didn't park all the way so the Ram wins so we've tied like I feared all right I'm gonna ask you this question but I know the answer Andre because well you bought it which one would you pick I would pick the F-150 hybrid and not just because I just also purchased an F-150 hybrid but because of the towing and payload capability and also the generator system I love this and I would pick the ramp well there you have it guys and as always you can go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news views and independent and honest reviews see you next time ciao